Hello friends and colleagues and welcome back to the ladder tutorial series. I'm Nadav and in this episode we are going to give our player the climbing animations. So um, we are working on a third person project and we have this mannequin that we get with the project and it has a few animations. Uh, we have a walking animation if, if I play the game here and jumping and running there are a few animations that we get with the project but actually we want to bring in climbing animations because we don't have them here in our project and we of course can go uh, and look in the epic marketplace or online for animations and buy them that uh, we can find right and uh, correct animations to use with our uh, mannequin here but uh, actually we have a, a second option that we can go to a website called Mixamo and get some animations for free. So I'm um, going here to Mixamo. You can see I already have um, an animation playing here. And uh, when I go inside Mixamo, so it's just uh, mixamo.com and you create a user. It uses your Adobe user. So you have to create a new Adobe user. And then you get access to many, many characters here. Uh, sorry, it's many, many characters you can download and also animations. And uh, for this, for the purpose of this um, video, we are going to get uh, the Ybot. Ybot character. It's the character which is playing already here. That's the character I downloaded. And I go to animations and I look for uh, climbing. Climb. And typing is hard today and you see we have a few uh, options for animations here when we go to climbing many many animations and I'm going to go with climbing ladder animation that's the animation I used it's important to click here in place when you use this animation this way it will ensure that the character will only move with the capsule and not uh, the animation will not go outside of the capsule so you need to export it in place and i can here make it slightly faster or slower let's make it slightly slower by lowering the override let's go 40 let's say that's fast enough and now i can just hit download here and under download settings i'm going to go with skin this means that i'm going to get the animation and the mesh with the rig all together because I don't have it in my uh, project yet, right? And I'm going to choose 60 FPS and that's it. I'm going to hit download and wait like a second. And it's downloaded and now I go back to my project and I'm going to create a new folder. We call this uh, YBOT and we're going to import uh, the climbing ladder we have to here um i'm gonna uh, import this climbing ladder that's the one i downloaded now and you see here you ask me for a skeletal mesh uh, if you if i want to import a skeletal mesh if i want to import a mesh and um i saw this both should be ticked on because we are importing for the first time so we need the mesh too remember we export it as scan and i don't need to choose a skeleton because it's going to use the skeleton of the mesh i'm importing and under import animation, we need to make sure this is on. Okay, because we want the animations too. Now I'm hitting import. Waiting a second. I get some errors here, they're not important. And um, and I see here my imported mesh and animation. So under here, you can see I have uh, climbing. Let me make this slide bigger for you to see. I have climbing leather and mixamo.com. So this is the animation we brought in. And now what we want to do is we want to take this animation and actually apply it to our uh, mannequin that we already have here. So we are going to use a retargeting method in order to do that. And this will um, semi-automatically going to retarget this um, animation on this rig. It's going to use this rig, this mannequin rig, to retarget the animation. And in order to do that, we need to set up a few things. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside our climbing ladder skeleton here. 
this is our skeleton and first of all we're going to go uh, we're already in our retargeting manager if you don't see this window just hit retarget manager here and go um, here to uh, auto map uh, sorry first uh, select the rig you want to select a humanoid rig okay and you can go with auto map and this will try to what it, it's doing it's trying to look at this rig and trying to see uh, to match um, the root bone to the bone uh, the rig uh, has already in so he thinks the hips bone the hip bones are the root bone the pelvis is the left eye which is of course not uh, the correct bone spine one is set to spine one which is also not the correct bone but we, we're going to change this to be correct so what's going on here is that inside the unreal inside our targeting manager we have uh, a humanoid rig reference it's a reference uh, it's not attached to anything right now and we're just telling that reference uh, which um bone in that reference corresponds to the bone in my rig in the rig i just imported and we're going to match this humanoid rig to our third person character uh, rig let's go inside it that uh, inside our mannequin we'll find it under character under mesh here so here you, already, you see it's already set. If you don't see this, uh, maybe you don't see this because this is uh, also clear here. So you can go in, inside our um, already set mannequin and select again here to uh, select humanoid rig. And you probably, maybe you see this as none, everything here, but you can sh just click auto map and you see now it works perfectly because the rig reference inside Unreal is actually uh, perfectly matches up to the, to the Unreal um, rig naturally, right? So we see here we have the root, the pelvis, everything is corresponding correctly. So here we don't need to work on anything. We're going to change other things here. So let's first change here um, the, um, the corresponding bonds and make them match correctly. So um, there's, I can go, I can do this to the entire rig, so to the fingers, and I have many, many other options here inside my rig that I can change, but actually I don't care about them. I only want to make the basic rig work. The head, the spine, the legs, the, the arms, the, the tip of the hand, at the base of the hand. I don't want to go through each and every index finger uh, here just for the purpose of this video. You can do it by yourself later, but I don't care about that at all, so I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to actually clear everything here to set it to none. And I'll start uh, setting it uh, myself. Really good, a really important thing for you to, uh, to see here is that, again, I, I show you auto map. So if I go to, you see, I have a show base and show advanced. So if I go to show advanced, I'll see here all the thumb, lower arm, index, pinky, all the like, all the little bones um, that I don't want to control. I don't want to retarget them because I don't care about them. You also see here some twist bones and there's a lot of other um, special um, special bones here to manipulate the movement of my character, which I don't want to use again. So when I hit clear, it clears everything. So it, it makes it easier for me. But if you don't hit clear and you do auto map and you start at the base and you go through the base, but you don't go to the show advance and you clear all the, the others here, uh, you're probably going to get some errors because it, it is trying to um, to match the advanced information also, although you don't see it when you show base only. So this is why I do this. I start as just clearing everything, make sure, make sure that the show advance is also clear by doing that because I don't want to use all those bones now. I don't, don't want to use the calf twist, all those bones, which Mixamo rig doesn't have, okay? It does have the index and pinky and ring. It does have those bones. The, we can control them. I just don't know, don't want to set them, okay? So I'm going back to show base, and now I just go uh, and reset the, um, the rig. Um, another thing important is that uh, Mixamo rig is built differently than an unreal, the, the Unreal rig, and that's the work we're going to do here. So first of all, root bone is set to none, so we don't have the root bone in the Mixamo rig. If I don't, if I'm not um, wrong, is actually um, I, I, I think it's not existent. I'm not sure. So anyway, root bone we're going to just um, set it to none. The pelvis is, is going to be the hips. 
the spine is going to be uh, spine one is going to be spine spine two is going to be spine one spine three is going to be spine two uh, cervical left is going to be left shoulder upper arm left arm lower arm is going to be forearm and hand is going to be left hand and same for the shoulders right shoulder uh, right shoulder and forearm right shoulder arm uh, sorry right shoulder sorry this should be arm this should be forearm this should be um, hand and so we did to the right let's go neck is neck head is head thigh is left up leg left leg foot L is left foot so you see I'm just matching between um, the rig the reference rig of Unreal to the rig of the Mixamo uh, skeleton that we brought in. So right thigh is right up leg, the calf is right leg, and the right is right foot, right F, uh, foot, R is right foot. Okay, so this is set up now. Again, I'm only setting the basic bone and I cleared all the advanced. There's nothing here. I don't care about this at all. Okay, next thing I need to do is I'm going to my mannequin, to the Unreal mannequin, okay? And I need to make sure that the mannequin matches as close as possible the pose that we have here, which you see it's different. Um, here the hands are more um, to the side, more lower, and also the legs are a, bit of, a little bit more uh, wider apart, and you see here they're more together and the leg hands are actually uh, far, uh, further up so let's change here um the, the hands and the legs the reason the arms and the legs the reason this is um important is because unreal is using the pose in order to try to retarget as best as it can and as um if you match the poses better uh, the, the retargeting is better so i'm just gonna choose um the arms i'm gonna move them um, using the shoulder bone the clavicle bone i'm just um sorry it's the upper uh, upper arm bone i'm uh, changing to 45 degrees low um raising them 45 degrees and also here i'm gonna straighten them out around 20 degrees and the legs also i will bring in slightly okay now we can compare and we see that it matches much better and now in order to proceed i just need to go to my animation that i just brought in which was in ybot animations Sorry, this is the animation that we care about. And I can now just right click here and do retarget anim assets, duplicate. And now you see I can choose um, the retargeting target, which is the, the mannequin, right? I'm gonna use the mannequin bones to retarget, but I can't see my source. So the reason that you don't see your source is actually if I go back to my uh, mannequin here, you see um, the preview mesh skeleton. I need to click here, apply to asset to apply the preview mesh. So after doing this, going back here and doing retarget, now I see it, okay? Now I'm just gonna hit retarget. And if I now click on the new animation created, here it is, our bow, our, um, mannequin is climbing using the mixamo animation and you see i didn't uh affect the fingers at all but it, it's, it looks good enough for um the demo here of course if you want to see the, the like the the correct animation if, if you look at the uh, animation again um of the y bot 
you see uh, the hands are more like matching up and there's also some finger movement so if you want to do that you can just go ahead here uh, and under the Y bot you can go to advanced and you can start matching up here the index uh, so index L1 will go to um, left you see left hand middle sorry left index one and you can go ahead and change all of them here by yourself uh, go ahead but for the purpose of this demonstration we're good enough nice okay so now that we have our mannequin climbing animation we can finally plug it in inside our blueprint animation animation blueprint sorry and we can start uh, seeing how our character is climbing and we'll do that in the next video so i hope to see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the next videos see you next time